Now the news is the biggest weapon the BBC have in the fight to keep their license fee. So are they just being a bit desperate or are they just being the slimy BBC again? Let's have a look. Hi, it's me again, and this story popped up this morning. It's Wednesday the 6th of July, and this popped up this morning, and it just sort of shows the BBC's desperation a little bit, and also the sliminess, because they love their news. For some reason, the BBC News is the most trusted news in the country. I have no idea why. But look how much competition there is now for news, with all the papers, all the radio stations, and now all the new news channels. You know, there's new rolling news channels starting up all the blooming time in a minute, it seems, and on radio, and more channels are offering news than ever have before. So the BBC are desperate, desperate to get the scoops, to stay one step ahead of the game, and they're using slightly slimy tactics. Have a look at this. So this is a text message that Health Minister Maria Caulford received from the BBC. Hi Maria, Tom Smithard here from the Today programme. I appreciate you may well be staying in place, but if you are planning on resigning, we'd be very keen to get an interview with you. A resignation live on air would be even better. Please do let me know, in confidence, if that's something you'd consider. So fair play, fair play to Maria Caulfield for posting that, in confidence, my ass BBC. What are they trying to do? Sensationalist journalism they're supposed to rise above this and just tell the story you want to be the most trusted news network of them all right why are you resorting to stuff like this getting an interview i understand and i've got no problem with a journalist from the bbc contacted an mp for an interview it happens every day of the week of course it does but saying look if you're going to quit would you mind doing it would you mind doing it on the telly live for us because that'll get us in the papers and that'll prove to everyone we're one step ahead of the game still and we'd rather you did it with us than do it with something like GB News. Because we don't like GB News because we're the BBC. It's, it's slimy, slimy, slimy tactics, isn't it? I mean, all newspaper stories now are just a series of tweets. So I'm going to join in. Let's have a look at some of the replies to this. The top one I can see here is someone that actually follows me. Look. Disgusting, trashy, tabloid stuff from our so-called neutral, trusted national broadcaster. Now, all right, their opinion is... Uh, a little bit skewed. It's one of my followers and they want to cancel TV license and defund the BBC. Let's see someone who's got a more neutral stance says about it. Uh, Dan Watton from GB News. Look, what a disgrace. More like, what a disgrace. Yeah, we'd rather you resigned with us live on air. More like. Hey, the BBC do seem to be all over getting Boris out of the club. I wonder why that could be. Why do you think the BBC would love to see Boris lose his job because if he lost his job he'd take some people like uh, what's her name Nadine Dorries with him and Nadine Dorries is terribly terribly anti-BBC and TV license Boris isn't though I'm surprised at that but if Boris falls the whole plan to replace the TV license will fall or be delayed that's all the BBC care about is their funding model they don't care about anything else so if this government falls all the plans that have been put in place and all the discussions that have been started for cancelling the tv license fee they're gone we start again from scratch and that could take a couple of years and by then there won't be enough time to get something in place before the charter expires in 2027 and so they have to get an extension probably 10 years and then the whole farce will start again from scratch won't it i mean this tweet just shows everything you need to know about the BBC. You know, I appreciate they're asking for an interview and that's okay, that's a journalist's job, right? But if you're gonna quit, would you mind saving that and doing it live on air with us? Ridiculous, ridiculous, isn't it? So what do you think about this then? It's just a quick one today. I haven't got my posh camera or anything set up because I wasn't planning on doing anything today, but I stumbled across this in the news and it did wind me up a bit, it did wind me up a bit. I don't know if the story's got anything else to say here. She wrote on social media after receiving a message from the BBC, these are very difficult times for all of us working night and day for our constituents. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to see an MP work night and day for their constituents. Are you having a laugh? But anyway, that's not the story here. Unfortunately for the BBC, it's just one big game. Well, that's journalism all over. They all want the scoop. They all want the exclusive and they all want you to do it live on their channel. It's just the BBC is supposed to rise above that. But to them, it is one big game because this government is threatening their very existence, their funding model. 
and they have the power to destabilize it and muck about. Of course they do. Of course they do. So let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you do that, hopefully I'll see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da.